welcome back to my channel. So first of all, sorry for not uploading because uh, my mom and I have to do something so we weren't able to upload. But starting, I mean, at least we are back now and we are going to read a book named Babu Song Song. So this story is about Bernardi who and Babu who Babu oh first of all Bernardi's favorite soccer was I mean favorite sport was soccer and Bernardi's uh, was a uh, is older than Babu wait what it, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense <laughs> I will not spoil it. Let's just see it in this video. <laughs> Babu's song. Bernardi ran hard, kicking the ball towards the goal. His arm pumping and his heart racing. He didn't care that he was the only boy on the field not wearing a school uniform. He loved soccer, and his one concern was making a goal. With a final kick so powerful that it knocked him on his back, Bernardi sent the ball flying past the goalie and into the net. Bernardi lay on the grassy field, catching his breath. A boy helped him up, then ran after the others going into the school. Bernardi wished he could go to school like the other children. He liked to learn and thought he could be a good student. Besides, then he could play soccer every day, not just when the schoolboys needed an extra player. Bernardi lived with his grandfather, Babu, and they did not have enough money for school. Slowly, Bernardi walked home. When Bernardi walked in, Babu gave him a hug. This was how he said hello, because an illness had taken his voice a long time ago. Hello, Babu, Bernardi said. I made a goal today. Bernardi loved telling Babu his soccer stories. Babu held up a figure made of wood. He pulled a string and the figure jointed arms and legs popping up and down, making Bernardi laugh. Babu was a toy maker. He had only to look at an object and he knew what toy it would become, such as an airplane from tin can or a whistle from a scrap of wood. After Babu made his toys, Bernardi would sell them. Together they made enough money to live on. Babu made tea for Bernardi and himself. After they finished, Bernardi took an old bag from beside the door, waved goodbye to Babu and set off for the market. As he walked, Bernardi hummed a tune. It was a song that Babu had sung when he had his boy. Humming it made Bernardi wish Babu could still speak. Anything for Babu? Bernardi asked the vendors when he reached the market. The vendors gave Bernardi bits of strings or paper. Anything that might Babu might be able to use to make his toys. Mama Valentina, who sold salt, called to Bernardi. She handed him a plastic gummy sack. Bernardi thanked her as he stuffed it into his bag, even though he didn't think that Babu could use it. As Bernardi walked home, he passed a shop downtown and stopped to look in the windows there, among the bright bolts of clothes and shiny pots, was a new soccer ball. It was just what he had always wanted. Bernardi pressed his face against the window and looked at the price. It was more than it cost to go to school. Slowly, Bernardi backed away from the window. He did not hum as he walked home. That evening, Babu and Bernardi ate beans and rice by the light of the kerosene lamp. Babu put something by Bernardi's plate. Bernardi picked it up and held it closer to the light. It looked like a tin of yard. He opened the lid and heard a small tinkling. A music box, Bernardi exclaimed and listened again. It was rough and tinny, but he recognized the tune. 
It was Babu's song. Bernardi hugged Babu, and together they listened to the music. That night, for the first time in many nights, Bernardi fell asleep listening to Babu's song. The next Saturday was a busy one for Bernardi, as it was the day he sold toys to Torres. He set up shop on his favorite corner downtown, arranging the toys on the curb. Bernardi cranked the music box and listened to Babu's song "Tinkle Out." He had just sold a few things when a woman picked up the music box. She asked how much it was, but Bernardi said it wasn't for sale. The woman did not give up. She told Bernardi that she wanted the music box for her collection, but still Bernardi shook his head. The woman held out a handful of money. Bernardi's eyes widened. It would be more than enough to buy the ball in a store window. Bernardi picked up the music box. He thought about the brand new ball and how it would feel when he kicked it. Surely Babu would, could make another music box. Bernardi swallowed hard and took the money. After Bernardi sold. All the toys. He did not go home. He took the money and headed for the shop down the street. When Bernardi got home, Babu was cleaning. He looked up at Bernardi holding the empty bag. I sold everything, Babu. Bernardi said, trying to sound cheerful. But then a tear rolled down his face. Babu went over to Bernardi. He wiped his grandson's face and waited. He knew Bernardi would tell him what was wrong. Bernardi sniffled. He told Babu about the music box and the soccer ball. Then he handed the money to Babu. I couldn't buy the ball, Babu. It's your money. Babu patted Bernardi's head. Then he placed the money in Bernardi's hand and held it to show him that the money belongs to both of them. Bernardi hung his head. I don't want the ball anymore. He held out the money. Take it, Babu. You decide what to do with the money. Babu took the money and looked thoughtfully at Bernardi for a long time. Then he broke into a smile, signaled to Bernardi to wait. And walked out the door. Bernardi sat quietly in the room as he waited for Babu. He he wished he still had the music box. How could he have sold it? Bernardi was sitting in the lamplight when Babu returned, holding with a paper bag. Babu pulled out a package and handed it to Bernardi. Bernardi choked back a sob. He untied the string and pulled back the brown paper. His eyes opened wide when he saw what was inside. It was a school uniform. Bernardi looked at Babu. "You paid for me to go to school?" Babu nodded. Bernardi jumped up and hugged his grandfather. While Bernardi held the new uniform to his chest. Babu went back outside. He returned holding something behind his back. With a flourish, Babu held out a soccer ball made from from string and Mama Galantina's gunny sack. Bernardi put down his uniform and held the ball. He bounced it on one knee, and it felt like the real thing. Thank you, Babu. It's wonderful. Bernardi said to his grandfather and gave him a hug. Babu beamed. Bernardi decided that the ball was even better than the real thing. Babu pulled one more surprise from the paper bag. It was an empty lantern. As Babu began to make another music box, Bern. Bernardi put the water on the stove to boil. Then Bernardi hummed Babu's song as they wait, as they sat in the lamplight and waited for their tea. Hey guys, so this story, as I already told you, was quite sad, but it still 
happy ending in the end. And also, uh, so the story, summary of the story is that Bernardi loved soccer and he wanted to go to school, but he they did not have enough money for that. And in the end, because he worked for it hard, he got he what he wanted. So I think the moral of the story is that. The first one is grandfather loved Babu. I mean Bernardi. <laughs> yeah, Bernardi. I always get confused with them. But anyways, um, the second moral is, is if you work hard for something, then you will get it. Because yeah, because the God will give you a reward. I mean. Because you work hard for it, then you will get it. Because you really work hard for it, and yeah. So I think that's the moral of the story. If I already, because I already know this story, and I think that the moral of the story is that because, I mean, the story seems that it tells us that the moral of the story is that. So, anyways. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like button. I don't want any gray likes. I want blue likes. And also subscribe. I don't want to see any red subscribe button. I want to see a gray subscribe button. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do enjoy it, then have a good day and see you in the next time. Bye.